all right guys welcome back to the road to ssl in 3v3 today is episode number 15 and for today we're going to be harry peak sporky gave a quite a few recommendations but i thought this one was the best but has he seen this man he's already got this long flowing hair but i gotta make some changes all right so now it's time to make him into an afro man so i'm thinking this photo is probably good we probably want one with his short hair instead of his long hair to make it easier to cover and i already have a good idea of how i want to make this happen so let's put this in photoshop real quick and uh get an afro <laughs> Okay, yep. I searched up Afro transparent background. I couldn't be more impressed with what I found in the first thing. But Why is this a thing? All right, let's save this real quick so we don't have to look at that anymore and uh, drop it in Photoshop. <laughs> uh, maybe not as good as I, thought, <laughs> as I thought it would be. <laughs> Let me try this again. All right, that's a little better. So let me uh, let me clean it up. I think the, the background was the problem in the other one because the afro looked a little weird, but this looks pretty good. Let me just clean it up around his face and we should be we should be good to go. I mean, is this what you wanted? Because <laughs> if not, I'm sorry, but let's jump into the episode now. All right, now we have Harry Peak. Thanks so much to Sporky for that recommendation. If you want to drop a comment, make sure to drop a comment of the name and the profile picture that you want me to make, and I will choose the most liked one. So that was a lot of fun to make. Pretty quick one. Let's jump into the next episode. So we got Grand Champion 3, Division 1. We've got 1739 MMR. So we're in the second highest rank of the uh, the game so far. So we're only a few more divisions away from SSL. So it's pretty exciting. The the episodes have definitely been a lot faster in this, this series because of the fact that I didn't start at bronze. But of course, I got to follow TOS. So uh, unfortunately, that's that's how it's going to be. Um, let me know what you guys want me to see, uh, want to see next. Maybe a road to SSL and 1v1s. I'm not too excited about that because I am on my own, which means I can't really like play along with my my team. But I could play to the uh, the opponent's level, basically. So let's jump into the next game. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's jump into it. I just realized before we jump into the game, I need to put Fair Harry Peak with an exclamation mark. So let me be right back. Ah, much better. All right, let's jump into it now. All right, we got the first game. We got Ethan MP4 and Ziln. <laughs> I have no idea. On my team, let's see how it does, uh, how we do. I'm gonna grab the back corner boost. Just watching for midfield. Two players on my team are on the right side of the field as well. Try to keep some space. Pop this behind Rolf, so it's gonna be a hard read. Good try on the shot. A little bit light. I want to make sure I sit right here, so I'm ready for that next touch. Instead of going for all the way to the back corner, because my team is gonna be basically wasting his possession if uh or his position if i don't back him up basically so you could complain about your teammate going for that shot oh my gosh or, or going for that challenge or you could be in the right spot and and you know basically back him up wait for gamma's touch it's decent i'm trying to boost right away to get back to this it's a cross good pinch it actually hit my car I'm trying to demo this guy as well well my teammates are kind of waiting someone's gonna loop around be the new third grab a few pads Ethan's saying he needs boost. Wait for this touch. Just baiting him in. Oh, that's good. That's a good shot. I tried to bait him in to get the 50-50, but I ended up missing it. It's all good, though. Sats uh, got a pretty good catch. Playing two people out of the game pretty quickly. Um, both my teammates were low boost. Kind of sitting in, in net. Not really going for boost pads and staying on it and stuff. What a touch. Get a, get a decent 50-50. We trying to play through this game, uh, you know, in its entirety, trying to talk about what I'm going to be doing and looking at. See if my teammate gets a decent touch. Does good follow up as well. He's get the boost, so I know that. So I need to back off because he's gonna get beat because he's going for the boost. Now since Ethan's last, he needs to go for that challenge. I see him going out for this. Doesn't want to hit it away. Good of him to keep it close to his team. I'm gonna get beat here, so I'm just grabbing some pads, letting Sats take it. Not a big fan of that touch from my teammate. I'm trying to keep it close. So that way my, teammates, my teammate doesn't have to uh, deal with it as last man. Big throw away from my team again. It's okay though. Hopefully Ethan can go for this. He needs to jump up. Good save. This off the wall so I can follow up really quick. Beat the one player. Could be an open shot here for me. And there we go. So I know that I beat that last player and I knew that the other two people were pretty far ahead on the field. So there I'm just trying to make sure I you know get a consistent shot. That's pretty tough. Tough angle if you don't uh, get ready for it. That's where training comes in. I see Sat's going to take that midfield boost. So I'm immediately going to back off. Oh my. Alright, big fakes. For my own team. I'm going to fake this. Now my teammate can go for this. Good. Ralph is last. So he's going to pop it up. I already know that. 
He's going to try and stay with it. That's fine. Get a 50-50 with this player who's going out for it. Good challenge to be uh, Zilln's ball here. Nice play. Now I can get the boost. I made sure that I waited for that challenge to come in first before going for the boost. Pop this to the left side of the net and go for the double. Really good pass. Um, in that situation, I know the other guy is going for the back corner boost. So right here, when I see Rolf's bat flip to the back, I know that I can go for the left side of the net and then go for that double. Um, and that's why he couldn't get to it because he went for the back corner boost. I placed the ball off the backboard um, where I wanted to, where I knew there was more space and I could just focus on the shot instead. And as I talked about, those doubles, those double touches are really, really consistent for me right now because I've been practicing that uh, that that training that I was talking about uh, in a previous episode where I talked about like, the perfect way to train. Um, the more you train those situations, the more comfortable you are and the more you can get used to uh, your placement and your touches and your control. It's going to bounce up slightly. Actually, it didn't. So I'm going to pop this to the right behind Gamma so he makes an awkward touch. Stay with this. Make sure to keep it awkward. Boost isn't there, so I'm just going to grab a few pads on the way back. Decent. See if Ethan can touch it. I'll make sure to touch his back so I can roll it up the wall and then take the boost. There might be a guy chasing me, which I hear him. So I'm just going to try and get in the way of this guy. Decent. Both teammates are kind of in the corner, though. They kind of throw the ball away as the opponents uh, hit it across. So now I'm just going to wait for the next touch. Ended up missing. So I'll pop this to the right. Keep it close. Keep it under the one guy. Should go back to my teammate. Oh. I like that my teammate covered that. That's good. All right. So I'll go behind. Ends up throwing it towards the net. I can pop this up and then it should bounce down a little bit. I see the opponent's going to beat me, so I just waited. Good save. Both both players are up, so I'm actually not too worried about this. Unless, okay, unless my teammate didn't cover it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not too worried about this because my teammate should be covering the ball after two players went. Um, by the player, I meant Ethan here. So right here, he kind of... <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, he, he wanted to look like he was doing something, at least. Let's we'll see what Zillin does. He might have an open shot. Good save, though, from the opponents. I should have went earlier. I thought that guy was going to jump up faster. He really should have beat me there, so I didn't really want to overcommit. But then the, the longer he waited, the more I could have went. Try to pop it over one. Zillin should have a free clear. Good bump. They'll take this in if I go with a nice catch. That boost can bait you pretty quickly, but you have to know that that, that net is open there. Once that clear goes over the third man right here and the bump. So I knew that I could, if I instead of going for the boost, I just used the boost I had and I cut it in real quick. That should be an open net for me. All right, see how this 50-50 goes. Pretty good, actually. This guy might miss, so I'm just going to pop it towards the net. Now, I have no boost here, but there's no boost in the back corner. There's no reason to go back there. So instead, I'm going to grab a few pads, just wait in midfield. And now the boost should spawn for me while the ball collects to midfield. Or the back corner, not midfield. <laughs> All right, decent. It's over one. Hopefully, my teammate can follow. Nice. Good job, Ethan. I'll grab this mid boost because that way uh, Rolfs is kind of stuck in midfield with nothing. Don't want to commit here, but I do want to cover my teammates. Try to pop it around. It's not the greatest 50 50, but hopefully it doesn't bounce too dangerously. Good pass midfield. Good save. Teammates kind of left that midfield pass open. Uh, they need to make sure they watch that because there's it's definitely the most obvious play. Um, wait for the touch here. Grab the, grab the boost first. Go for the 50 50. Just keep it close. My teammates are pretty low boost. Decent touch. Good pop across too. Gamma's backwards. Could be a shot. It's a little bit awkward of an angle, so I don't blame my teammate for not being able to score that. Not a great touch for me either. So Zillin's going to have to wait. End up missing from the, uh, the opponents, so we kind of relieve a little bit of pressure. See if my teammate can touch this. Oh, dang. If he popped that, it might have been really good for us, but obviously we were still up two goals. So it didn't really matter. But not, <laughs> not too bad of a game on Harry Peak. That, honestly, that photo is hilarious with the afro. I love it. Um, pretty good first game. Let's see if we division up. I'm not sure if we will after that. I think we might. Uh, yeah, division up two. So we have the division two. We got uh, two more divisions and then a rank up to SSL. So we might be done in, in a couple episodes if we continue this win streak. We haven't lost in the series yet. Uh, I think I, I would shine my teammates a little bit there with the four goals. I didn't mean to uh, do that much. Oh, what's happening with the screen? That was wild. But let's jump into the next game. See how it goes. All right, so Zillin's on the other team now. We got uh, A. Stanley, who's at SSL season two, and Zripix. Interesting name. Just going midfield there. I should have probably just went for the back corner boost. Let's see if my teammate goes for it. What a dunk. Both both my teammates are in the uh, the corner. So I don't want to commit yet. I should have probably left that for my teammate. I didn't think he was going to cut like that. Teammate should be able to turn. Good touch. I guess that works. Pop it up once. See if I can get a 50-50. Good dunk. Oh, I actually probably had the follow up there, but it's okay though. Zerpix makes a good touch. 
I'm popping up uh, like pretty quickly there because my teammate made a decent pass. It's tough for me to turn on that because obviously my teammates are pretty committed, but I saw Stanley backing out, so I knew I had the confidence to go for this. And zone wasn't quite ready to go for the shot uh, on the defense. So it ends up working for us. See if we can keep it up. I think I definitely did a little bit too much last game, and even that turn was probably pretty aggressive for GC3. Because uh, it's more like a high-level SSL thing. Go for the, the block. Decent. See if uh, Stanley goes for the block. He does. So like, what I've noticed with SSLs like, and between like uh, GCs is that they will cover a lot of positions a lot quicker. Like, See how Stanley immediately turns on that? Try and keep with this if I can. I'll leave that for Zerpix. It's a really ripper of a shot too, and they end up saving it. That was a really good position to shoot that though. Good pass back. See if he can make something happen. Probably Venom's going to pop this out, so I know that I should just wait for the defense. Pop this back out to middle for Zerpix. Ends up getting beat, so immediately I'm going to back up my teammate, who's now th new third man. Right here, I'm third man for a little bit, so I want to make sure I, I'm ready for this touch in case he makes it. Keep it close. Good try from Zipix. Ends up bumping the player because of that, but I'm not going to commit on this. It's decent play. Go for the, the wide shot since he's going for the chip. Pop off the ceiling once and I'll back off. All right, so our third just went. This could be a potential shot on target. Yeah, it's in. So my third ended up going for a, a challenge he really shouldn't have. At the same time, I think Zripix was doing a really wide rotation. Didn't even grab the back corner boost, so he wasn't really doing much. He could have been back earlier, probably before me even. Um, so pretty aggressive challenge though. Still, as third man, you gotta be a little bit careful, especially in solo queue. Decent touch. Bishop going for this is actually really bad for them. So I can pop this off the backboard pretty hard, and my teammate should be able to finish it. End up going too high off the high off the backboard, but that's okay though. See if he can pass it middle. Don't want to commit on anything like like this yet. Decent shot. Would have liked to pass middle instead. There's too many players in net. Just make this awkward. Venom missed. Try to pa pass that up middle, but I didn't make make a touch. So I'm gonna go behind. Probably gonna be a clear. Gonna be a new third man here. If he takes an immediate ripper of a shot, it's actually better for us. And avoid the bumps by jumping. Oh, would have liked to shot shoot on target there because now they just have a free collection in, in the back corner. Actually, that worked out really well for them. We're kind of panicking. Oh, I tried to turn on that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one of my teammates can challenge this. Good. I like this Zerpix guy because of the fact that he's trying to make passes in midfield. Um, most of the time. We might go on this again, so I'm just going to wait for that. Pop it around the one. Try to pop it over the one as well. Both my teammates were pretty pushed up for that. Good positioning from Stanley, though. This guy should go for this block well played from Zerpix to cover that. Because Stanley was still recovering. 50 50 he's gonna stay with this i see like the right idea here but they're not making the greatest touches and neither am i i'm missing <laughs> hopefully Stanley goes for this he should be able to beat him if he goes what a what a weird shot too that boost was just taken so i'm just gonna grab a few boost pads i have to go for this because the other guy's gonna pop it off the backboard keeping it close in the corner good touch from stanley to keep it close that is their last man hopefully zerpix can go for this uh-oh nope that's a good shot. So we got a minute and a half to make something happen. Hopefully we can get a goal or else this might be our first loss. So really, really uh, greedy from Stanley to try and bring it infield like that when there's a guy challenging. He should force the ball away from the net. See if we can get a 50-50. It's going to be a chip off the backboard. Stanley took the back corner boost. It's a decent 50-50. He's going to beat me here. Both my teammates are really, really keen to like push up. Okay, I'm out of boost again. It's going to be a goal, probably. I have no boost. It's a shot. And he's any on goal. <laughs> like, if you're going to take the boost, do something useful instead of sit in midfield like this. Like, this Ripix guy just stole the boost, and then he just goes in, in midfield and does nothing. So it's a little bit rough. You know, it happens. You can't do much about it. Hopefully, he can go for it. I think we can still make it happen. But with my teammates rotating really awkwardly, like, they, they both aggressively turn out of the net. The second anything happens, like, look, Stanley's Lee's upfield. And, uh, oh, this could be good for us. Pop it up. Teammates up for this. They're trying to make stuff happen, but they're just panicking. This could be a shot towards target. That's fine. There we go. It's two players. Probably going to save this. It's all good, though. So I've noticed that, like, really aggressive, uh, really aggressive teammates off of uh, defense. Like, right here. Not the greatest touch, but I can try to follow it up off to the side. 
He's a shot towards target. Could be on target close. Give me a save. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get bumped here if I don't watch out for it. If I beat their 30, I end up not going, so hopefully Sandy can clear it. Good. Not the greatest shot. I tried to I tried to shoot it, but hopefully we can get a shot towards target here. And uh, that's gonna be our first loss. So uh, a little awkward of a game. I think the the biggest thing was like the turning off of the uh, defense. We couldn't keep a uh, defensive pressure off of our side because uh, our team kept on pushing up forward off of a 50-50 that wasn't really clear whether it was gonna be a win or not. And Zerpix kind of just wanders in midfield. So that was a big issue there. I think uh, they weren't too happy with that game, but honestly, it was a little bit awkward. I think the rotations weren't the greatest, and uh, we'll move on. That's gonna be a division down again too. So we gotta we gotta bring it back and hopefully get the division up in this game. Unfortunately, we have the same team, <laughs> uh, and it's the same opponents. So hopefully, we can make it happen this time. I have to do a little more carry in this game because uh, their rotations were a little awkward, and uh, we can we can uh, push push out a little bit more on on offense and hopefully make something happen. Zerpix is looking a little mad. Once again, not the greatest touches. I'll catch this on the side here. It's a decent pop. Hopefully Zerpix goes for the midfield. Should be a free clear for my teammate now. Really bad touch because it goes right to Venom, but he's going to pop it up again. Interesting touches. Waste of possession there. Could have made a shot on target. Let's go for the backboard, see if Venom can make it. He's going to clear that pretty easily. Both my teammates are pretty aggressive again, so they're both in the same position. They're both rotating back. So we a touch off the backboard. Ended up missing. I tried to go for the 50-50 on that touch. Stanley missed as well. It's going to be a little awkward off the corner here. It's over one. I'm going to get challenged here off the side, so i got to be a little careful. And our third just got demoed as well, so... A little bit dangerous. It's over. I don't think they're going to be able to score that. This is really awkward. I'm going to grab a few pads. See if we can redeem uh, the, the last game. Because it's it's been a little bit awkward. But at the same time, we can we can play it to our strengths of being a good solid third. Uh, because obviously our team is not being, uh, you know, very defensive. So in that case, I'm just going to sit back and, and be consistent. And get clears when we need them. And let Bishop take this, take this extra touch. There we go. I feel like I make a challenge again. Teammate also committed, though. Oh, teammate's not going. Good save, though. That was a little dangerous. It's going to be a shot towards target. Decent. Good save from the opponents. See if we can play off this aggression off that touch. Decent 50-50. But once again, really aggressive positioning from Stanley. It's going to be a little awkward to make anything happen when you're sitting so close to the... Uh, the opponent's defense. Take, take another touch here. Get a 50-50. That way one of my teammates can turn on this. Decent touch from Stanley. So you can see how I'm playing. I'm approaching this game a lot differently to the last one when I play with these guys. Because my teammates are always upfield. So I'm a little bit careful of, uh, of being too far behind. Or uh, too far ahead with my teammates being aggressive the way they are. I'm going to pop this up. It actually forces Bishop to go for that uh, boost instead. It's a good dunk. He should stay with this instead of backing up. He's giving way too much space. Ended up working out for him, but he really should stay with that ball because then it's going to put uh, him and Stanley in the same position. He's in 50-50. I'll go for the boost first. Didn't touch the ceiling ever, so I'm going to stay with this. Decent touch. Once again, Stanley's right under the ball. <laughs> Got to be a little bit careful with that. It's probably going to be a miss from the opponent, so I'm just going to go for the shot. Um, I know that that's a really awkward read, and the way he's aerialing, I can tell he's not too confident with the touch. So I know that I have a pretty free backboard. So I'm just going to wait for it with the 12 boost I have and just pop it up. This didn't need too much because I know the ball's already popping down towards me. And we get the shot. Once again, just trying to hold that midfield and just play the positioning. Uh, and hold hold as a solid anchor as much as I can. I'm going to move back here and get the back corner boost. Miss the bo back corner boost. It's okay. Let's see what Bishop does. He's going to go for the demo maybe. It's a decent pop. But I can touch this in the corner. I know that's going to work out. Pop it around the other guy as well. Grab the boost. Pop it up. Make it really awkward for Bishop. Almost worked out for all, all uh, taking every player out of the game. Just doing small dribbles. Not the greatest pass across because it goes right to the opponents. Hopefully, Stanley leaves this for me. He does. Good. Let's see what Venom does. Good clear. Should be someone. Oh, my goodness. 
See what, see what I'm saying? If I'm like first man, they're almost out of position on, on a big clear. It almost goes in the net. Could be a good chance. I'll pop this around the player. That way Stanley can get a free touch. Good. I'll grab this mid, mid boost just in case they rotate behind. Good 50-50. Once again, don't want to commit too much because I know that my teammates are pretty aggressive. So I'm going to back off. As you can see, they want to go for everything. Did a good touch. Zipix could get up here. Maybe. Oh, close. I don't want to go for this because if I do, Bishop's just going to go faster to this. He's pretty low boost. So I'm going to force a 50-50. Get a touch on the backboard. Decent shot. Let's go for the top right corner. Force out the touches. Fake that jump. That way they just go for the aerial touch. And Zerpix is kind of just wandering in mid again. Like there's not, he's not doing much. And he, he he's going to cause a big issue with uh um with touches if they go way too high. Wait for the last second so it pops off the backboard. Be an awkward clear. I'm gonna move behind here. Hopefully Stanley can turn on this. Not a great touch. Should be able to touch this off the side. Both of my teammates can defend this. They need to jump up for this ball. Good touch to the corner. Woo! Okay, I was a little stressed about that. And there we go. We got the final win after all that. A little bit of an awkward uh, set of games. Uh, these these teammates were definitely very, very aggressive. You can see that my strategy of sitting back and being more consistent uh, on, on, on defensive clears and stuff like that definitely works in our favor when there's teammates who do not, uh, you know, rotate properly. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you learned something. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.